Now coming up to the second part that is design super elevation. Now in this part whenever we are traveling in a curve our vehicle experiences an outward force which is known as the skidding which we have done in the previous of the lecture. This is skidding. To avoid this skidding we provide an extra elevation to, a, to the highway which is road. And this extra elevation is known as super elevation. So actually our road is provided as a camber like this one but in cases of super speed highways or where we need to curve out the curves we provide an extra elevated height to the our highway that is super elevation SE which is also known as cant or banking. Okay, the concept is clear for the super elevation, the increased height of the road from one end. This design super elevation is denoted by E. This super elevation is given by E plus F is equal to V square upon 127R, where E is the super elevation, F is the friction factor, V square is the velocity of the vehicle. and R is the radius of the curve. The super elevation E plus F is equals to V square upon 127R. This formula is only to be used when we are given with the actual values of E, F, V square and 127R. All of the values are given and we have to calculate one single value out of them. Then only we will use this formula. Neither the actual design parameters, the actual design considerations for super elevations are. Now for actual design of super elevation, we will have to calculate E via a formula E is equals to V square upon 225R. Here E is the super elevation of the road. V square is the particular velocity through which the vehicle is moving and R is the radius of the curve which is going to be taken out. Now for this particular problem first calculate E from V square upon 225R. At this particular problem we will be getting E which is known as the super elevation E. If this super elevation E is greater than E minimum and is less than E max, simply provide the super elevation value as E. If this E is less than E minimum, which is the minimum of the ele super elevation, provide the super elevation as E only. Now the third case where our critical actually lies is where this super elevation E is greater than the super maximum super elevation allowable. We will have to be providing E max. We will be providing E max then we will be checking for lateral friction. Now we know the value of E as E max. Radius of the curve is given and velocity of the vehicle is also given. So we will be taking the design formula which is E plus F is equals to V square upon to 127R. Now this through this design formula we will be calculating out the friction factor F. If this friction factor F is less than F maximum which is 0 0.15 in case of lateral frictions we will be providing as E max. If this F comes out to be greater than friction factor which is F is greater than 0 0.15 we will be providing F is equals to 0 0.15 and we will be reducing down the velocity from it. Now we will be again calculating the velocity from the same formula E plus F is equals to V square upon 127R from here we will be calculating the V as 
रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी सेवन आर होल मल्टीप्लाई बाय ई प्लस एफ फ्रॉम दिस वी विल बी अलाउंग द विलासिटी और वी विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग द एक्चुअल विलासिटी विच शुड बी अलाउड ऑन द कर्व दैट इज वी अलाउबल नाउ दिस एक्चुअल विलासिटी वी अलाउबल इज अलाउड ऑन द कर्व सो नाउ अवर कर्व डिजाइन विल बी नाउ वी आर हैविंग एन एक्चुअल कर्व विद अ रेडियस ऑफ आर आर विद अ सुपर एलिवेशन ऑफ ई मैक्स विद अ फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर ऑफ एफ दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव एंड वी हैव मेड अ विलासिटी साइन बोर्ड विच इज वी अलाउबल दैट इज इक्व टू द कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ द वन ट्वेंटी सेवन आर प्लस ई एफ होल अंडर रूट दिस इज अवर कंप्लीट डिजाइन ऑफ डिजाइन सुपर एलिवेशन